Hey, Pastor David here with Covenant Peace International West Coast. We want to invite you to our Easter Sunday service. It's going to be a great time. We're having a baptismal service on that day. Now, our theme is going to be resurrected with Christ. Because when Jesus died and rose again and conquered death, hell, and the grave, He allowed us to be risen with Him. But here's the thing. A lot of people have been baptized, but do you know why you were baptized? I've seen things where, you know, many people were sprinkled. What's the problem with being sprinkled? Well, you're not buried. If you think about it in terms of when we bury a person, you'll physically bury them. We don't sprinkle dirt on them. We immerse them in the dirt. The power of this and what God has established is not applicable. The other thing we need to remember is in the Old Testament, there was a physical circumcision. That circumcision was the mark of covenant with God, that they were in covenant with God. Now, we bring that through the cross, and guess what? There's circumcision in the New Testament. The only thing about it is it's not done with hands, it's done by the Spirit in the heart. And this comes through baptism. The power of baptism is huge that many people don't see. Now, when we get to the actual baptism, many people are focused on what the preacher says. But it's not about what the preacher says, it's about where your faith is at in the baptism. The other thing that happens is many people look at, this is a public profession of my confession with Christ. Okay, I get that, and that's fine. But there's something more powerful than that, and many people are not walking in the power of baptism. It's critical to our resurrection in Christ. In Colossians, Paul starts explaining this to us, and he talks about the circumcision of the heart, and if we have faith in the operation of God. Now, there's an operation of God that comes with baptism. And that operation is, is when we are baptized, that old sin nature goes down and we bury him, and then we come up out of the grave, leaving that old man down. There is a huge freedom in baptism, and yes, we're publicly declaring it, but we have to have faith in what's going on. And when we have faith, God allows us to step up in a new being. I tell you what, when you put your faith in this, there's a freedom in your heart when you walk through it, when you walk out of that, that baptismal tank. And on Easter Sunday, we are going to have a baptism service, and we are going to talk about being resurrected with Christ. Come out and join us 10 a.m. Easter Sunday. We look forward to seeing you. God bless you.